Hello guys. Hello Zebra Army. Again. <laughs> I did a 15 minute video on this flipping GoPro um, 10, 20 minutes ago. Anyway, um, showing you the PC. It's arrived. Yay! Um, yeah, it didn't record. It switched itself off after whatever. Anyway, here we go again. <laughs> Hello guys, how we doing? All right. PC has arrived as you can see and um, I love it it's brilliant it does exactly what I want it to do um, I was in the last video I just recorded which is not on the card anymore for some reason um, I was showing you the editing a workaround but um, obviously I'm not editing now because I've finished it so um, I was going to show you about the GPU which is the uh, graphics card and the memory and I showed you inside the machine and everything and it didn't come out because a stupid GoPro just decided not to work properly. Um, I'm going to have to get another one. It's, um, it's a pain in the so and so. I've got it tethered to um, a power pack, there's a little power brick. Um, I've had to velcro it to the side of the gimbal handle to power the GoPro while um, while obviously I'm using the gimbal it's all a bit of a it's all a bit of a workaround but uh, there's not a lot I can do about it really um, I, I can see the red lights so it's recording it is this time it was recording last time but for some reason it didn't save it to the card I have no idea why I've just copied my footage on here <laughs> and it's not on there as you can see there's the video basically all I was left with was um, me going like that on the button <laughs> that was it that was the entire video and um, it was about 11 to 12 minutes long real bummer because I wanted to show you how it was all working while I was editing because I was in the middle of editing a video which is going to be the one before this one <laughs> but it's the w last video you watched um, I edited I was editing on here um, yeah so I've got everything I need it's got 32 megs mm -mm. it's got um, lots of fans to keep it cool it is about five six years old it's in pretty good nick I'm, um, I'm pretty pleased with it as you can see I've uh, I've got a little Wi-Fi dongle on here I've enabled the Wi-Fi on it a little Bluetooth dongle on the back so I can use the customary mouse little Bluetooth mouse I'm going to be putting a hot swap um, drive bay in here which is uh, when it, the old five and a quarter bay it's got a slim line uh, DVD drive on here which um, doesn't take up a lot of space it's the same as you put in the laptops and that uh, next to it it's got a five and a quarter bay so I thought I'd put a uh, is it a caddy or a, a hot swap bay whatever they call it so um, I can put in uh, three and a half or two and a half inch drives in there as I need them um, so I can either back uh, you know for backing stuff up or getting audio or whatever so um, that's going to be my backup the uh, SSDs are stupidly cheap now um, you can pick a 250 gig SSD up for stupid money um, for like 20 quid or something I'm not thinking this is just stupid you know I mean this was a hot this is a hard drive not an SSD and um, this is a, a 120 hard drive this would have cost me about 60 or 70 pounds um, a year or so ago maybe two years I don't know but, um, now you can pick them up for like 15 pounds if you buy an SSD it's ridiculous um, I think they're going to be on their way out I think because I think SSD is definitely the way to go now um, I've got one SSD in here plus um, I've got a three and a half um, two terabyte drive for um, footage and backups and obviously I'm going to be putting um, the hot swap bay or whatever they call it in there which um, I'm going to be using some of my old hard drives just for backing up probably this one um, this is a Western Digital Black 
So uh, it's quite a good performance on this one. It's got a higher spin cycle, I believe, on these. Um, it's different ones as blue and black, and these are designed for um, are these for servers. Can't remember. These are because they spin faster. They stay spinning or something, whereas the blue ones sort of go up and down, so they tend to be a bit slower. I think. Then you've got the server ones as well. I think. I've got uh, the NVIDIA K2000 in here, which is two gigabytes. But um, look, while I was doing my editing, I was looking at the uh, monitor thingy to see how powerful it was, and it was completely maxed out, which is the same as the graphics card was on my laptop. Um, I did think that would be the case. It was okay because it was still it's still been using the uh, system the uh, CPU memory and it's, it's 32 gigs so that's plenty for what I need at the moment. So uh, I've also bought another graphics card to upgrade the one in here. I've gone for a GTX 1060 SC I think, which is an overclocked version, but it's a mini one so it should fit into the case all right. Um, it's possibility it may produce a little bit more heat because it's the overclocked version. But, um, you can get away with that by putting an extra fan on the back to uh, pull out some extra airflow through. So I'm going to be doing that. And um, I think we should be good to go. I think the 1060's got 8 gigabytes of memory, I think, on the DPU, on the um, graphics card. Whereas I've only got two in here at the moment. So um, that should be a lot better as well. But um, editing wise, it's brilliant. I can actually, um, when, I, when I'm editing, if I want to go to some audio files, which I couldn't do with my laptop because it wasn't powerful enough, um, if you just scrub the mouse over the uh, icon for the audio, it, it plays. So you can just, you can find your sound clips without having to go click play. Not that one. Find another one, click play not that one and it was really really slow it was so laborious to be able to find your music tracks that you needed to use it was such a pain but now you can you literally just scrub through you just click play click play click play like that uh, brilliant brilliant so much better all in all I'm very pleased <laughs> I'll give you a quick tour of the box um, it's got uh, one USB 3 and uh, three USB 2s on the front. Um, like I said, it's got the uh, it's got the mini mini bay there, which is awesome. It's got the five and a quarter empty one there, which I'm going to be upgrading. Um, there's three fans, four fans in there, which. Uh, which are really good. It gives you um, ample through airflow out through the back, and it's all ducted. Well, I'll show you. It's all um, all the ducting is there to help the airflow through the machine. Is the K2000. Um, yeah, it's very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it. Um, it's very, uh, it's very clever. It's a very clever design. I've had Dells before and I've always been happy with them. And hopefully this one's going to be okay as well. Obviously we're not going to know, time will tell, but isn't that the same with everything? That's it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope that was a little bit of an update. If you want to know any more about my machine, then um, leave it in the comments down below and maybe I'll do another video on it. That's about as much as I can come up with for this one. So uh, that's it. Right, love and light. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next video. Thanks for watching, guys. This video was funded by our community. If you enjoyed it, please consider becoming a patron and help us to make more great content. Right, love and light. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.